Abacus Multiplication Solving Problems with One-Digit Multipliers Part 2 In the last lesson, we learned to multiply using a two-digit multiplicand and a one-digit multiplier. We will continue using one-digit multipliers in this lesson and practice a few more problems. Read the problem. 135 times 3. What's the multiplicand? The number to be multiplied is 135. What's the multiplier? The number doing the multiplying is 3. Set the problem. Set the multiplicand 135 in the billions section by setting 5 in the ones column, set 30 in the tens column, and 100 in the hundreds column of the billions section. Remember, you can always count the number as you set it or set the number directly. Set the multiplier 3 in the millions section by setting three one beads in the ones column. Multiply. Multiply 135 times 3. We start with the smallest unit or amount in the multiplicand. That would be the 5 in the ones column of 135. We multiply that 5 by the multiplier 3. 3 times 5 equals 15. Correct. Set 15 in the hundreds section. The hundreds section is also known as the units section. That's 5 in the ones column and 110 in the tens column. We're finished with the 5, so we can clear the value of 5 from the multiplicand. We move to the tens column in the multiplicand. There is a 3 set there, or 30. We multiply that number by the multiplier 3. 30 times 3 equals 90. But let's focus on place value and multiply the 3 in the tens column by the 3 that is the multiplier. 3 times 3 equals 9. Since the 3 in the multiplicand is in the tens column, we add the 9 to the tens column of the product. There's already a 1 in the tens column from the 15 we set earlier, so we add 9 to that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we have a partial product of 105. We're finished with the 30 in the multiplicand, so we can clear that 3. We move on to the hundreds column of the multiplicand. There's a 1 in the hundreds column, or 100. We multiply that by the multiplier 3. 100 times 3 equals 300. Add 3 to the hundreds column of the hundreds section in the product. 1, 2, 3. I'm finished multiplying so I can clear the multiplicand and the multiplier. Read the answer. Read the answer or product. 405. How was that for you? Let's practice one more. Read the problem. 243 times 5. What's the multiplicand? The number to be multiplied is 243. What's the multiplier? The number doing the multiplying is 5. Set the problem. Set the multiplicand 243 in the billions section. We set a 3 in the ones column, a 4 or 40 in the tens column, and a 2 or 200 in the hundreds column. 
set the multiplier 5 in the millions section. Multiply. Now we multiply 243 times 5. Start with the 3 in the 1's column of the multiplicand. Multiplied by 5 equals 15. Correct. Set 15 in the 100's section. That's 5 in the 1's column and 110 in the 10's column. Clear the 3 from the multiplicand. Move to the 4 in the 10's column of the multiplicand. 40 multiplied by 5 equals... If you said 200, you are correct. We add that 200 to the product. That's 2 in the 100's column. We have a partial product of 215. We can clear the 40 from the multiplicand. We're finished with that multiplication. Now, let's move to the hundreds column of the multiplicand. We have 200 multiplied by 5, which equals 1,000. Let's add that to the product. I set a 1 in the thousands column. I'm finished multiplying, so I can clear the multiplicand and the multiplier. Read the answer. Read the answer or product. 1,215. Great work! You've practiced solving multiplication problems with a one-digit multiplier. In the next lesson, we will look at two-digit multipliers.